What up, Dingo? You ready for your hike this morning? Ready for your hike? Yeah, of course I am. Look at that. The Rocky Mountains are once again snow-capped. The first coat of snow for the season in this area. Wow, look at all these fall colors. Beautiful. How you guys doing, Eric here? Today is Friday, September 29th, 2017. Beautiful morning up here in Gilbert County, Colorado. And finally the sun came out after a couple days of cloudy, drizzly, cold weather. It's just beautiful this morning. A little brisk in the air and it looks like it's gonna warm back up into some Indian summer. So yeah, tomorrow's my dad's, my stepdad's memorial. And I'm looking forward to that. It's gonna be a lot of people there. And I'm gonna have to give a eulogy. So hopefully it goes good. So yeah, what's going on today? All kinds of shit going on. There's no shortage of shit to talk about today. Watching the news this morning. Man, let's see, where to start? I guess they're saying that Al Baghdadi, the big Baghdadi, still alive, I guess they're saying, and he's making more threats to attack America and the free world and destroy and kill and rape and pillage. And yeah, they thought, the Russians said that they had killed him in an airstrike. But apparently not. He's back, he's alive, and he's ready for action. <laughs> Keeping that good old ISIS fear going big time. Also a lot of talk this morning about, still talking about the freaking NFL controversy, as they're calling it. The, there was a game last night. Green Bay played somebody, and I guess... All the players locked arms together and remained standing for the anthem. So that was the big story in the NFL last night. And there was a lot of talk about that this morning. I guess Rush Limbaugh came out and was talking about it this morning. About how the, the left has totally taken over the NFL. And it's all because of the left, the, the Democrats that are causing this kneeling during the national anthem bullshit yeah rush rush limbaugh was pissed off about it he was like this is terrible i, I don't want the nfl to 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 lose any popularity over this yeah but they were saying you know they're saying 55 percent of americans are against kneeling for the national anthem and they're very upset about it. Very upset. <laughs> a bunch of bullshit, man. Most American people I know think it's a big joke and they really don't give a rat's ass about it. A lot of people I know realize the fact that it's all staged and set up and another bullshit divide and conquer psyop. Also this morning, talking about Iran once again and how they were saying how Iran was spinning their centrifuges and building bombs and it's all the fault of Barack Obama because Barack Obama purposely made a deal with them that would allow them to build bombs and Trump's not going to have it. We're not going to allow it anymore. We're going to renege on this deal. We're going we're gonna to overturn this deal with Iran. And if they don't do what they're told, there's going to be hell to pay. Hell to pay. So. So yeah, that's a little bit of what I heard on the news this morning. Just a little taste there of 
the same bullshit different day, you know? It's like they've been going on and on about this shit for fucking years and nothing ever changes. You know? The fear, the fear of Iran. The fear, the fear of ISIS. The fear, the fear of North Korea. And yeah, they just kind of cycle it through the week. You know, and one day they talk about North Korea. The next day they're talking about the NFL. The next day they're talking about Iran and ISIS. So yeah, they just keep cycling the same fucking stories over and over and over to promote fear and loathing here in the United States and keep the people in constant state of fear and and constantly looking for answers from the, our wonderful, wonderful government. Oh yeah. oh yeah, when I get done hiking Dingo here, I gotta go do some work, get back to earning a living in this fucking world. But, uh, you know, because you know, I've been a lot of stress lately about the future and what's going to happen. And I guess the best thing I can do is go out and earn the money I'm going to need to make my future more certain rather than uncertain. So, yeah, that's what's going on today. Go earn a little money. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys soon. Leaves are falling.